So we have another one here, same symptom. Compressor not running. I've already, I had a little bit of a helicopter situation, but we got a nice, uh, looks like the original capacitor that came with this unit, this Goodman from 2016. It's a 45.5. If you go between Common and Herm, we have absolutely nothing. Common the fan though, is at 4.7, which the fan motor was running. So I have one of these nice, beautiful Trade Pro, one of these pretty green Trade Pros from Baker Distributing because they are American made. There we go. Nice and tight. Common. Good tight connection. This purple is common. That's a good tight connection. This yellow is my Herm Hermetic. It's a nice tight connection. And the fan. There we go. She should fire right up now. She wants me to check her Freon too because she uh she just bought the house. There it is. The Goodman lives. some gauges all right so I'm not liking the way that that superheat is looking that's a high suction line temperature and a high superheat this is a Goodman system it's running a piston I have a wet buff thermometer I'm gonna get a target superheat and see where this thing is supposed to be we are at the air handler with the h10 warming up of ARUF 37 I can think I can see oil in the drain. My leak detector was going crazy already a minute ago. So a lot of times what I'll do is see that. Sometimes I don't even have to open up the unit with this H10. I can just. Come on now. Now sometimes There'll be enough oil in the drain. Ugh. It caught something. All right, let me open up the door. All right, I thought I would film this just, just because. This is a Linux system that we did a maintenance on yesterday, and the capacitor is weak. The 45 side is putting out about 39, and the 10 side was putting out about six. Well, I don't carry 45 plus 10s, and nobody in town had a 45 plus 10. So I picked up a single 45, for the compressor and a single 10. And I saved these brackets 
for in case I have to do stuff like this. Now, technically, this is for a blower motor. You know, this is supposed to slide in the hole and then you put the one screw there, but it's not a problem. I can still run a screw through it. And I think I can make this bracket work even though this capacitor is not as fat. I still think I can make it work. If not, I have plenty of other straps that I can put on this. So what we're gonna do is, is unwire this capacitor. And I'm gonna have to get a jumper wire that I forgot to get. So, first thing we're gonna do is pull this capacitor off. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, the contactor just pulled in, so she's that's good. I'll get to see it run. Now I'm gonna have to bend this strap and to make it tighter, which I'm okay with that. And I'll put one of my screws in it. These screws right here are awesome. So I'm gonna shoot a screw right here. definitely going to be tight. Let me back it out a little bit. Well, we're going to get it right one day. All right. So we got that one in and, and you see, I just did like that. And this, if we ever go back with a fat capacitor, we can reuse this strap. No harm, no foul. So we're gonna put the Herm here and the Common here. And then I'm gonna put a red jumper. Hopefully I have a red wire in the truck. And then we'll jump it to this one. Now I'm gonna put the camera right here. Okay, so I drilled a hole. I'm going to use one of the Linux screws. Okay, so I actually used one of the screws that was on the unit. And now we'll run one of my zip screws through the other side. I've already pre drilled a hole. a 45 and then the fan will go over here my brackets a little crooked but that's okay and then we'll put a jumper from common to here to power this capacitor and that that's not going anywhere I'm, I'm tugging on it really hard it ain't going anywhere 
Okay, our repair is complete. We have the Herm, we have the Herm start wire going to the single 45. The jumper from the from the contactor going to the single 45 in the back back here. And then we're jumping from common to here to power this capacitor. And then this is the start for the fan, the purple. Now we're gonna put the disconnect in and make sure she fires up. The machine is operational. It's already pulling good heat. I already cleaned it yesterday and checked all the refrigerant pressures there. All that was good. So yeah, that's just, uh, to me, that's just good customer service. And I didn't want to waste a 45.5. I mean, I could have put a 45.5 and then a five, but you know, it just, I just like doing it better this way or get a dual and nobody had a 45 slash 10. So this is the way we had to go with it. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. This will work just as good as a dual capacitor. All right guys, so nothing special, but just wanted to put it up there. Hope y'all enjoyed it.